and welcome to Parkway High School, where tonight on WOSN, we've got a non-conference matchup for you between the visiting Fanward Cougars and the homestanding Parkway Panthers. I'm Garrett Seawright, joined alongside Mark Barrett, and we all the action tonight here from Parkway. And uh, Mark, we got uh, a, a, you know, not a very far drive for Van Wert to come down just 118 and get here at Parkway tonight. And, uh, uh, a pretty good matchup between a D2 and a D3 squad. This is a great tournament test for both teams. The, the draw just got announced on Sunday. And so Division Three Parkway has had an outstanding year at 16 and 2. Van Wert has been up and down a little bit, but this will be a good tournament test for them as well. So excited to see that the matchup tonight and the strategy both teams will employ. So we'll take a look now at the starting lineups as we get set here for this non-conference matchup. First for the visiting Cougars, 10-8 out of the Western Buckeye League, Hannah Flipball leading the Cougars. They're starting five looks like this. Sabre Wise is a senior wearing number one, averages three points a contest. Kyra Welch wears number 15, 12 points a contest. Sophie Howe, the leading scorer for the Cougars at 14 points per contest, wearing number 20. Maria Bagley is a senior, 4.2 points per contest for number 23. And Aaron Schaufelberger rounds out the starting five for the Cougars. She'll wear number 44 tonight and anchor things down low for the Cougars in their road black uniforms. For Parkway, Gabby Stober is the leading scorer in the Midwest Athletic Conference, averaging 19 points tonight at 26 last week at a loss to Marion Local. Allison Hughes, the leading rebounder, almost 13 rebounds a contest. Audrey Nichols wears number 14. Emery Nittle wears number 25. And Paige Williamson handles the basketball. She's wearing number 31 tonight for the Panthers as they win the tip and begin with the basketball. As there you see Stober between the circles. And Kyra Welch is starting out in Stober and they work some man-to-man -man defense. Allison Hughes to Nichols. Thrown right to Nittle. She'll hold for just a moment. As the Panthers patient on their first offensive possession. Stober down low stripped and it's taken away by Sailor Wise. In that first possession, Van Wert switched all screens and always had a person on Stober. Schaufelberger into high post. Working against Hughes from the block, can't hit. Rebound comes down to Hughes. And we'll see a lot of those tonight. She averages about 13 a game, rebounding wise. Williamson in the post, gives to Niddle. She'll drive and kick in the near corner. Stober contested three, splashes and it home. Three for number four, Stober. Excellent shooter, got her feet set. Now that was a pretty release. So the Cougars come back the other way. Bounce to Sophie Howe. She'll hold, guarded by Stober, gets a screen from Schaufelberger. Flashes to the elbow, gives right back to Howe. Welch in the lane, tries to throw up a shot, fouled, and she'll shoot two. And Kyra's really sneaky uh, getting into the lane. She shoots a lot of free throws, and, and that's a good start for her to get to the free throw line. Kyra Welch, a 55% free throw shooter, wearing number 15. She's got the first points of the day for the Cougars. And Coach Williamson told me that was the number one key to keep Van Wert out of the paint tonight. They didn't do that on that possession. A couple of times now the Cougars, each possession have got down low. As Welch hits them both, cuts the lead to one at three to two. Just over a minute 20 gone. And Wise really quarter. likes to pressure the ball, and you saw that there bringing the ball up the floor. Nichols double dribble. So a turnover by the Panthers on two of their first three possessions. And that was one of the, his next keys was to handle the pressure of Van Wert. And Van Wert will pressure the ball, bring it up to four. Cougars thought about the three, did well. She'll lob down low to Schaffelberger, ping-ponged around. Stays with Van Wert as Welch nearly traveled. Back cut to Haug off her fingertips and out of play. Good idea, back cut by Van Wert, just threw out of bounds. Both teams feeling each other out here, they're really going. Gabby Stober across the timeline, straight to the top of the key. Fires off a pass to Hughes, and she'll put it up there. And that one makes her so good, she's unselfish and saw the help coming and threw an absolute bolt pass to Hughes for the layup. Cougars working around the perimeter, trailing by three, as Welch will throw right to Haug. Stops at the top of the key. Thought about the three. Instead, Sailor Wise holds now. Screen from Schaufelberger, free throw line. Welch for three from the right wing. Missed it. Hughes the board. 
And the Panthers want to run momentarily. Williamson eyed the rim. Instead, stolen away by Haug. Great anticipation. And an easy layup for Sophie Haug for her first bucket. She's a phenomenal athlete. She gets in the passing lanes a lot, made a nice play there. That's the third turnover for Parkway here early on. Williamson tightly guarded by Wise. Nearly stolen away once more by Haug as Niddle has to chase it down to the near corner. Stober double teamed. Niddle will rise and fire. Left it a little long. Comes down to Maria Bagley. Schaufelberger just beyond the free throw line. Swirled around and out. Hughes wipes the glass once more. 5-4 their score. As Emery Niddle drives, tries to get to Stober, and once again, Van Wert forces a turnover, and then a foul committed by Niddle. That's going to be her second in the first 3-15. And early on, you can see both teams are playing to their strengths. Van Wert's creating turnovers, and Parkway has done a good job of finishing inside, and they've now gone to a little 1-2-2, two, two, uh, three-quarter court press, probably back to a 2-3. Stober at the top of that 1-2-2. Two, two. As the Cougars bounce it across the timeline, stolen away by Audrey Nichols of Parkway. Coming back the other way, chased down from behind, though Welch steals it with the sneak attack. Coming back the other way, great pass, but it goes off the fingertips of Haug and out of play. Thing worked just a little discombobulated there in transition. Yeah, it's, it's a Monday night game after a long weekend, and, and you can see here, both teams are playing really hard at making plays. They're just not being able to finish right now. So 5-4 the score on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard as Stober takes the top of the key and hands off. In the near corner, three all the way from Williamson off the heel. Schaufelberger the board. So we've been stuck on this score for just a hot second. They were going to that continuous ball screen action. Welch straight away for three, missed everything and out of play. So the score remains 5-4, halfway through this first quarter. Part of this is good defense. Part of this is, 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 again, trying to figure out what the other team's doing and just rushing things a little bit. Stober to Hughes in the high post. And the first foul committed by the Cougars goes the against Sailor Wise. The one thing you notice about Stober, too, her head is always up, which is she allows her to create for others or herself. And that's what great players do. Looks like Audrey Nichols will come out of the ballgame. Lots of subs for Parkway, none for Van Wert as of yet. Panthers get it down low to Stober, double team, fires up a shot and the foul. Number four, Gabrielle Stober. She will now shoot after the foul. So you see Gabby Stober gets to a spot, got in a tough spot, muscles up a shot, fouled, and she'll step to the free throw line. Looking to convert the old-fashioned three-point play. Can't. And the rebound grabbed by Schaufelberger. Cougars want to move quickly as Sophie Howe goes to the bucket. Bounces back to Wise for three. Off the back iron. Long rebound comes out to Welch. In the lane. Hangs and hits. And that was a great tip by Schaufelberger. Didn't get the rebound, but tipped it out to Welch. And Kyra got to her left hand and made the layup. So the score now 7-6. Cougars cut it to one. As Stober, tightly guarded by Wise, crosses over. Free throw line, high post floater off the window. No, Hughes the re offensive rebound, blocked from behind. But she's fouled. And that's what Hughes does a great job. There's a lot of help on Stover, and when they help off Stover, she's allowed to roam free there, and a really nice offensive rebound. Two free throws coming up. Second foul committed by Aaron Schaufelberger. It's Hughes at the line. Got that one to go, Allison Hughes. Now with three points, signed to Edison State Community College to further her basketball and academic careers. Six foot two senior forward, 12 points, 12 rebounds a contest for the Panthers. And Parkway's big two has all nine of their points right now. Hughes, a 50% free throw shooter, hit them both. Grow that lead back out to three at 
Cougars get it to Bagley at the top of the key. Bounce left to Wise. She'll throw left. Long three from Wise. Hughes tracks down the loose basketball and a rebound. Stober will push it up the floor. To the right block, jump stops, kicks back to Williamson. Time to set up for three. No. Hughes the rebound. Triple teamed in the lane, can't hit. Nearly got the rebound once more, but it's tracked down by a Panther. And Parkway will continue possession with 2.20 to go in this opening quarter. And that was Van Wert's number one key to defense rebound. And that's three offense rebounds here in the first quarter for Parkway. Two in this possession. Panthers give to Stober at the top of the key. Gets a high ball screen and moves to her left. Throws into the lane to Hughes. Immediately double team. Tries to get out of it. Throws it off the glass and got it. There's two more. Really nice patient Hughes. move by Hughes there. She... She got triple team there and shot fake and went to her strong hand to finish. Hughes with six first quarter points. Lead now five for Parkway. Welch gets a screen from Bagley, moves to the left. Scoop shot in the lane, too strong. Allison Hughes grabs another rebound and she's fouled by Welch. And that's eight rebounds for Parkway and I think Hughes has six of those eight and she's really Dominated the inside so far. She'll take a seat on a bench here with a minute 30 to go in this opening quarter as Stoper works to the left. Goes straight to the window, but she traveled with it. Got bumped from behind. Picked up the pivot foot and another turnover forced by the Cougars. That's keeping Van Wert in the game right now. That's six turnovers for uh, Parkway here in the first quarter. Welch on the left wing. Parkway's gone to a zone as well. Cougars working around the perimeter as Wise holds it. Long cross-court pass into the near corner to Howe. Baseline drive, picks it up, bounces to Welch. And she'll drive to the high post, back to the basket, double-teamed, Howe for three. No. Rebound in the corner, poked back into play, thrown back into play by Howe, and the Panthers will run. Stober, back to the left wing, stolen by Howe. Great anticipation once more to the window, fouled, and she'll shoot two free throws with under a minute to go in the first. And Sophie's anticipation once again, now got a layup, turnover, didn't make Sophie the Howell. shot, but going to the line for two free throws here. So Sophie Hauge, 70% free throw shooter. First foul committed by Audrey Nichols for Parkway. It's how it hits. And it's interesting here, all four leading scorers, two from Van Wert, two from uh, Parkway, have all the points so far in this first quarter. 11-7, Haug looking to make it 11-8, does. That makes and that'll be key for other players to step up tonight and, and contribute for both teams to see you know, who can get, get that first advantage from other players. Panthers Van, with 40 seconds. Van Wert in a 2-3 now, and Parkway may be content to hold it for one here. 30 seconds now on the least famous recipe scoreboard. Maybe a box and one. I don't know. It's a back to man. Williamson will move to the left. Hands off. Adrian Miller, no. Offensive rebound by Nichols. Thrown back up. No. Offensive rebound by the Panthers. Williamson, no. Goes out of bounds. It'll stay with Parkway. That's six offensive rebounds now for Parkway. They've just dominated the glass. It's 12 4. That's. Again, the number one keys for both teams. They're not doing a very good job of that so far. The inbound into Stober with 10. Works to the right, stops, mid-range jumper. Got it. That's going to make two more for number four. And that'll end the that first quarter of play. The long three from Wise at the horn off the mark. Parkway leads 13-8 over Van Wert here on WOSN. Our scoreboard tonight presented by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wabach, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. 13-8 after the first quarter of play. As Parkway has the five-point advantage. And Mark, we mentioned that the things going well defensively for Van Wert and forcing some turnovers really is kind of what's kept them in the game so far. And then you see Miller. Gets the steal, goes up for the shot, fouled. And 
Adrian Miller will shoot two free throws. Yeah, Garrett, Van Wert created a lot of turnovers and opportunities, but they didn't take advantage of them. They, they were two of uh, eight from the field in the first uh, quarter, and, and Parkway's offensive rebounds really was the difference in that first quarter with, with six of them. First free throw attempt from the 5'6 sophomore off the mark. Keeping it at 13-8. Now 14-8. And there's one point for Miller after the foul. So a six-point lead for the Panthers now. First point scored by a non-top two scorer for either squad. It's Wise holds on the left wing. Parkway back to man-to-man -to -man now. Van Wert's trying to go block to block and then look inside and then reverse the ball. Bagley on the right wing to the free throw line, picks up, throws left to Haug. Tries to get it down low, does. Wise kicks back out to Haug through her hands and goes to the Panthers. Van Wert's spacing is off right now. They're, they're lumped together and they make hard passes and they get tipped out of bounds. So Parkway coming back on the attack, on the attack. Van Wert's man to man. And then you've got Stover with a huge height advantage on Wise. Coming off a screen and a three on the way. No, the offensive rebound by Parkway. Nichols will put up a three off the window. Audrey Nichols averages under two points a contest, just knocked home a three to grow the lead to nine. And the offensive rebound, they're making Van Wert pay right now for not rebounding the basketball. Wise for three, and the bank's open for both squads. I guess the that bank is open on Monday night in Rockford. Sailor Weiss. A throw in the near corner. Williamson will it up a three. Can't kiss that one off the glass, off the front iron. Rebound chased down by Welch. Transition pass in. A great bounce pass as Haug hammered to the floor by Stober. And good sportsmanship there by both. Now shooting is number 20. As Stober picks up her first. And that's what Van Wert can do. If they rebound, they can get out and run. And that's what they're most effective at. Haug's first free throw attempt up and good. Giving her five points. As Allison Hughes will come back into ball game. Hughes was getting some attention from the medical staff here at Parkway. Looks like she's all squared away and set to come back in as Hound hits them both. Makes it 18 12. And free throws have kept Van Wert in the game, too. They've shot it very well. Looks like Van Wert's on a 1 3 1 now. Nearly stolen away. Haug throws it back into play by Welch. It's a race to the window. Blocked by Stilber. Loose ball poked out of play by the Panthers. It'll stay with Van Wert. And that's, you can see there on that layup, Stober's size caused that. Uh, for, for Welch to hesitate just a little bit. Great steal by, by Haug, but she hesitated just enough and to cause it to be unsure. Carol, Tyra Welch throws in. She'll work to the top of the key. Stands inside the center circle and throws left to Haug with six minutes to go in the second quarter. Cougars trailing by six at 18-12 on the Lee's famous recipe scoreboard. Welch moves to the left, stops, throws up a shot. Short, got her own offensive rebound. Looking for some space. Bounces in the near corner to Haug. Wise. Works to the high post, backs back out. Bagley in the lane. Great extra pass thrown up and in by Jordan Blythe. Good execution by Van Wert there. They drove the gap to a nice pass to the backside for Lamb. And Blythe has ability with her size to make an impact on this game. Stober for three. No. Dead rebound pulled down by Bagley. As Wise works to the right wing. Welch pump fakes on the three. Gets a high ball screen. Gives to Blythe. She'll let one fly. That one too strong, but the offensive rebound grabbed by the Cougars. Three from Wise too strong. Hughes will secure the basketball for the Panthers. And Van Wert's starting to rebound better. They're still not making many shots, but that's what's got them back in the, in the ball game. 18-14, Panthers with the lead in the basketball. As Stober fires a bullet pass in the near corner, and Niddle thought about the three. Excuse me, White thought about the three. 
As Stober works to the block, off the window, no. Hughes, another offensive rebound, put back up and in. Lead back out to six for the Panthers, 2014. 420 to go here in this opening half. And once again, both teams imposing their will on each other, and that was another offensive rebound for Park. That's eight now, and a layup on, on the backside. Cougars send the hand out, rebound Parkway, and haven't done so here in this first half. It's a lob down low. Blythe tried to bring it down. Excuse me, hit it off her knee. Lost the handle. Britton Bruns in the game for the first time for the Panthers. Stober, right wing. Avery White thought about the three in the lane. Cross-court pass on the way, off the heel. No, out of bounds. And we'll go to Van Wert. And they're going to play Schaffelberg with two fouls now. Van Wert said that we need to finish this half and try to keep her out from getting her third, but they had to put her back in. And, and how much of that is just kind of like I, you can't hand a flip ball, can't sit there and watch, you know, offensive rebound off or off, offensive rebound come down for Parkway. How much does that factor in? It's huge. And Van Wert's only played six people so far. And so, you know, it's the, the lack of depth as well has hurt them. Welch in the lane, bounces. Bagley in a short quarter near side. Gives to Welch, pump fakes once more. Back to Bagley, thought about the shot instead. Hands off to Welch. 315, up and under, can't hit it. Rebound grabbed by Audrey Nichols for the Panthers. Avery White in transition for three, got it. Timeout called by Van Wert. The lead has grown to seven for the Panthers, 22-15. 3.05 to go in a second. You're on WOSN. Our scoreboard tonight presented by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken home style happens here. That was a good timeout by Coach Flippo. She just saw the rebounds were getting out of control and had to do something a little different to stop that. Got Schaffelberger back in, should help. Double teamed and turns, fires, and hits. Aaron Schaffelberger's first bucket of the evening. Cuts the lead to 5, 22, 17. And she's got a nice touch for 15. She can shoot that shot. That was a nice, nice bucket. Stober, White looking for another three. No. Hughes, the offensive rebound. Double teamed in the lane. Britton Bruns reverses into the far corner. Nichols thought about the triple try. Instead, bounces back to Stober at the high left point with 2.30 to go. Crosses over. Gives to Nichols. Bounces to Bruns. Nichols lets one fly. No. Hughes the offensive rebound. And this one grabbed by Bagley. Parkway got three more shots there, Garrett, but came up empty. And that's going to be the key for Van Wert tonight. Parkway knows that they can take advantage of that. Tyra Welsh thought about the three. Back to the zone. And it's stolen away by Britton Bronze. One on one back the other way. Right elbow jumper in transition. No. Nichols the offensive board. Now the ball's loose. A foul committed. I believe it goes against Kyra Welch. Does her second. Next foul for the Cougars will send Parkway to the line. As Kyra Welch. Takes a seat. Debbie Jones back in the ball game. Nichols takes the inbounds pass. Puts up a contested three. Can't hit. Allison Hughes gets the board, but it's called for over the back. Good box out by Van on the backside. They called over the back. It may not have been based on her height. She reached over the top, but those are the kind of fundamental plays Van Wert has to make to have a chance. And right now, with 12 offensive rebounds, Garrett, uh, them to be even close is amazing right now. 90 seconds remain in the first half. Bruns got in the passing lane, poked it high. Bagley secures a loose basketball. And, and Parkway's hands are really active in the zone. They're causing a lot of tips and deflections and even some steals. Sophie Haug on the right wing. Bounces to Wise. Sailor Wise, the top of the key to Debbie Jones. Back to Wise. 
Lobs down low to Schaffelberger, denied by Hughes, and the Panthers steal it away. Foul committed as the Panthers trying to run. I mean, and you can see Van Wert spacing against his zone. They, they are bunched up, and, and really the passing angles aren't very good, creating turnovers, and Parkway's in the bonus. Gabrielle Stover, a 65% Stover, a free throw shooter at the line in the front of the one and one. Got it. Stover with eight first half points. Just over a minute to go here on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard. Parkway now leads by six. Avery White takes a seat on the bench. Second free throw, hits every bit of the rim as well. Drops in and a timeout called by the Panthers. We'll take one as well, 103 to go here in this second quarter on WOSN. One minute remaining in this second quarter. Cougars trail by seven, have the basketball. Sophie Howe gets to Jones in the near corner. This zone has been very effective for Parkway. Haug for three. No, and the rebound pulled down by Stober, being chased from behind at the free throw line. Williamson hands back off to Stober. She'll back back out with 40 seconds to go in a half. And the Panthers content to hold for the final shot or get the best shot they can in the waning moments of the se second quarter. Stober at the top of the key. Backs back out. Guarded by Wise. Tries to drive past her instead into the near corner to Bruns. Backs back out to Stober with 15 on the clock. This has been Parkway's biggest lead of the game. They love to go up 9 or 10 here to start the third quarter. Stober high off the glass. No. Hughes the rebound. Traveled with it. Five seconds now remain. Van Wert's going to get a chance to fire one off. Or at least inbound it. Go the length of the floor. Get it to Wise with three, with two at half court. Threw a pass to Jones, and no shot. And that'll do it for the first half of play. Parkway leads Van Wert 24-17. Cougars put nine points on the board there in the second quarter. And the lead is seven for the Panthers. We've played one half of basketball. We'll step aside, come back with third quarter action here between Parkway and Van Wert on WOSN. Second half been get, about to get underway. Our scoreboard presented by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style. Happens here. Third quarter scoreboard says 24-17. And when you take a look at the first half stats, Mark, what uh, anything stand out to you? Well, I think 13 offense rebounds for Parkway and, and 10 turnovers for Parkway. Both teams played to their strengths there, but... Parkway only shot 31% with the extra shots. They had 10 more shots than Van Wert. Van Wert shot 46%, but didn't get a lot of shots on. Both teams great for the line. Gabby Stober for three right off the bat to begin the second half. Drops in a three. Her second. 12 points on the contest for Gabby Stober. Averages 18. And these first four minutes for both teams will be huge. Aaron Schaffelberger drops in a 15-footer. That's a lead back to eight. He has a really nice touch from there, but this first four minutes will determine, I, I think, the outcome here as far as which team will clean up their turnovers, which team will clean up the offensive uh, rebounds, and trying to take away the best. Stober in tr the mid range, couldn't hit. Welch, the outlet pass to Haug in the lane. Scoop shot at the bottom of the rim, fouled, and Sophie Haug will shoot two. And you saw what happened there. Stober missed a short jump shot. And Welch got the rebound and went right to Howe. That's their strength right there. Uh, shooting two free throws, which are six for six in the first half for Van Wert. Howe back at the line. Hit four of those six. Got that one as well. Foul went against Audrey Nichols, her second. Haug, 70% free throw shooter, looking to trim the lead to six. Does. That makes two points for Haug after the foul. 
So just over, just right at a minute gone, I should say, here in this third quarter. And they, Van Wert has, has, has put in wise the face guard right now on Stober. And Stober's taking her down to the block to post up. And they'll try to get it to her. Do strip from behind, foul committed by the Cougars. They say it goes against Kyra Welch, her third. So something to watch here in the early stages of this third quarter. As Stober inbounds to Hughes. Emery Niddle down low to Williamson. Lost it. Still loose. Scooped up by Wise. And she'll dribble and stand up. It can't be a travel. She's dribbling the basketball. I, yeah, I thought because she was <laughs> dribbling as she got up, yeah, that was a good play. You're allowed to stand up if you're dribbling. They'll lob into it, Hughes. It looked awkward, but, uh, but I'm not sure that was a travel. Hughes can't hit, goes out of bounds. Off the Panthers, it will go to Van Wert. There are those who will tell you that the ball doesn't lie. And Parkway continues to struggle to shoot the basketball. They've done a great job rebounding, but they haven't shot him very well tonight. Yeah, and I guess that's the kind of the catch-22 is back. Looks at the free throw line to the left block, double teamed. Back to Wise for three, left it short. Thrown back into play by Bagley off of Hughes. But if you don't shoot it well, that leads to those offensive rebounds. And that's why Parkway's had so many. It's how another steal lobbed to Welch in transition. Can't hit. And Allison Hughes grabs another rebound. Stober double teamed the backcourt. Fouled by Wise. And that was probably a good foul by Van Wert. They, they uh, had numbers. Parkway did. And again, this, this uh, tempo was picked up to Van Wert's favor but they got to be able to finish those inside. Third foul committed by Wise. So a pair of Cougars with three. Stober hands off to Emery Niddle, moving right. Gives to Williamson, quickly to the window, and the foul. First bucket of the night for Paige Williamson. Grows the lead to eight. And Parkway did a good job of getting in the weave there. And Van Wert switching all that action, and there was no one home. And Foul to the basket. Great job by Parkway driving hard to the basket. So Paige Williamson, an 83% free throw shooter, converts the old-fashioned three-point play to give her the and one, and she's got three. And you hope the coach's daughter is a good free throw shooter. You're, you'd be amazed how often you see that uh, those high numbers under the coach's daughter or son in, in high school basketball in the area. It's almost like they spend a little extra time in the gym. Probably so. Every time Van Wert cuts into it, Parkway gets that lead extended back out. Hughes denies the entry pass to Schaufelberger. And a jump ball. And that's a play where fundamentally in all high school basketball, that's your shot fake, take one dribble baseline to get the better passing angle on. A great, great play there by Hughes, but again, a tough pass there inside. Welch looking, looking, still looking, lobs in to Haug. Throws right to Welch. In the lane, traveled. So another costly turnover there for the Cougars. As well, just shot went, but she fouled, traveled before she got there. And you, you wonder what fatigue is starting studying in this kind of game, where they're, where they're not subbing a lot and some foul trouble. And right now they're just beating them off the dribble. Williams into the window, rebound though, pulled down by Wise. Long pass to Bagley, double teamed. Finds Welch cutting to the hoop, up and under. Got it in. Kyra Welch. And we got a stoppage on the floor. We have to leave. Yep, we'll leave. We have some blood. Emily Schaufelberger got tied up with Allison Hughes on that loose basketball earlier on the jump ball. And that's a really creative layup by Welch. As, yeah. a, as a lefty, she does a lot of different uh, actions that create tough shots, and she made that one. Lead seven for the Panthers. Emery Niddle will hold. Hughes at the top of the key. Trying to get it down low to Stober instead of Panthers. Working around the perimeter to Niddle. And right now, Wise is face guard. Great back cut. Stober spins, hits. And that's the rule of basketball. You gotta either back cut or get a back screen to get face guard. And she did a great job moving out the basketball. Lead out to nine for the Panthers as Welch stands between the circles. They're face guarding Haug right now too with uh, with Stober. With Stober, and her length is going to be hard to shoot over in the half court offense. 
They're trying to get it to Haug in that far corner. Instead, Welch to the left block. And a foul committed by the Panthers. I believe that's Audrey Nichols' third foul. It is. And, and I said the first four minutes were really important. Nothing has changed uh, that, that dramatically. Parkway's won the first four minutes by two points. And it's Van Wert's possession right here. So the Cougars inbound underneath their own basket. Welch immediately into Haug off the front iron. Can't hit. Niddle in transition. Williamson can't drop it home. Welch the board. And she'll want to race back the other way. Cougars with numbers. Try to bounce to Bagley off the foot of a Panther out of bounds. It'll stand with Van Wert. I guess we'll talk about it. And it will stay with the Cougars. Good officials do that. They'll help each other out, and, and that's uh, the right way to do it and make sure that they try to get it right. There's no replay in high school basketball. Under four minutes to go here in the third quarter, 32-23 on the league's famous recipe chicken scoreboard. Van Wert looking to get it in. Bagley takes the inbounds pass, hands right back off to Welch. Cross-court pass to Wise in the far corner. Bounces to Welch. Great positioning, triple teamed. Hands off to the cutting Haug and she'll drop it in. And a really good play there. A great a, a layup by Haug. And, and Haug and Welch are carrying Vamer right now. Who else will step up for them and who else will step up for Parkway? Stober in the lane, too strong. Rebound grabbed by Bagley. She's fouled as she comes to the floor. Foul goes against, is that Audrey Nichols' fourth foul? It is. And that's that backside where we talk about it every every night when we, when we do these games, Garrett, is on, on a driving layup or a jump shot, the backside war is what win games, and that was a good rebound on the backside. Garrett C. Wright and Mark Bagley here with you at Parkway as the Panthers lead by seven. Van Wert basketball as Haug throws left to Wise. Gives back to Haug between the circles. Cougars down a little Bagley to Welch in the corner for three off the heel. Rebound grabbed by Britton Bruns. The freshman for the Panthers. Stilber, cross-court pass to Miller. She'll go in the lane. Shot no. Hughes, offensive rebound, put back. And there's Hughes, right place at the right time after the block shot, and another offensive rebound. Ten points now for Allison Hughes as a shot by Blythe blocked. And the Panthers get it poked away by Welch. Haug in transition, lays it off the window. Timeout called by Hannah Flippo, the Van Wert head coach, will step aside as well. 2.37 to go in the third quarter. Panthers lead by seven here on WOSN. Two thirty-five to play here in this third quarter. Parkway with the lead in the basketball as Gabby Stober gets it across the timeline, but throws it out of play. And Van Wert went to a 1-3-1. That was a great timeout. They were gassed. They got the steal off the layup, and, and they're not playing a lot of girls tonight, so that was a good timeout. Got a steal and turnover. It's been seven almost the whole third quarter here, and they had a chance to cut into it. Get it down a little Blythe. Turn around, blocked by Hughes, and a foul committed by the Panthers. So with 2.16 to go here in this third quarter, after the turnover by Parkway. And Blythe has come in for Schaffer, done a nice job. Uh, Aaron's got a bloody nose right now, and, and Blythe has got length. Drops that one in, giving her three points. Hit that, every bit of the rim. That rim has been kind down there, a lot of free throws tonight. <laughs> so the lead got to six. That one wasn't so friendly as the Panthers somehow keep it in play. Ball must be slippery down there because they're having trouble grabbing right now. They're staying in that 1-3-1. One, one. Stober to the block, up and in. And that's how you beat a 1-3-1. One, one. You attack the elbow, go backside, and if somebody as long as Stober, that's an easy layup. Try to fire it, three-quarter court pass to Blythe, through her hands, out of play. That was a tough pass and a tough catch. And, and both teams need to try to make the simple play. That last play by Parkway was just a simple execution play versus a 1-3-1. One, one. Runs, Williamson, Stober. Still a zone being employed by the Cougars. 
Miller just inside the three-point line fires up a shot. No, Blythe the rebound. And a jump ball call or possession arrow favors Parkway. So a 1.36 to go here in this third quarter. 36-28 on the Leafs Famous Recipe scoreboard. Panther basketball underneath their own bucket. As Stober lobs it into Hughes, throws right to Miller. Back cut to Stober. Up and in. That's too bad that this more than Stober has done. Just a really good play on overplaying defense. Lead to 10. Welch wants to cut it back to 8. Can't as Miller gets the board. Stober, the pass, wants to run up the far sideline. Bounces into the far corner. Williamson for 3. No. Haug the board. Welch across the timeline. Wise bounces. Bagley, right block, got the bottom of the rim, comes back out to Wise. Welch thought about the three. Instead, we'll put it on the deck. Cougars regroup with 50 seconds to play in the quarter. Bagley bounces to Welch in the lane, up and under. Goes behind the backboard, out of play off of Hughes, and it'll stay with the Cougars. And Van Wert's space, and again, got all bunched up there, and Parkway did a good job of, of being the right spot, but somehow the ball went back to Van Wert there. 44 seconds to go in the quarter. Welch into the near corner to Wise. Puts it on the deck. Bounces back to Welch. Guarded by Bruns in the lane. Scoop can't hit. Hughes the rebound. Bruns across the timeline. Williamson. Floater. And she's fouled. Paige Williamson going to shoot two. It's Paige Williamson. See who the foul is committed by. It's Jordan Blythe first. Williamson, the 83% free throw shooter, hit a pair, or hit the and one, excuse me, earlier. Got that one to go. And she's got a really nice stroke, and it's been really aggressive during the third quarter. That was a really aggressive drive that went right at Blythe. 5'8", junior guard. Got them both. That's going to make two points for so it's a 12-point lead now for Parkway. The largest to the night, under 30 seconds to go here in the third quarter. And it's danger time for Van Wert here. Parkway appears to be ready to explode. Into the third quarter is important for Van Wert. Welch on the left wing. Pulls back out to Wise with 10. Welch contested three off the heel. No, Hughes the rebound. And the second foul in about 15 seconds committed by Jordan Blythe. Will be the fifth by the Cougars here in the third quarter. So with six seconds, Parkway going to inbound to Stober. You'll watch Stober here with a great vision. Miller to Hughes at the horn. No. And that'll do it for the third quarter. 12-point lead for Parkway after 3, 40, 28. We'll step aside, come back with fourth quarter action here on WOSN. Our scoreboard tonight presented by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wambach, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Fourth quarter about to get underway. Parkway, led by 18 points from Gabby Stober, 10 points from Allison Hughes. Meanwhile, Sophie Haug has 12 for the Cougars as the fourth quarter begins. And uh, Schaufelberger is back on the bench. We'll see if she plays here at all in the fourth. Exited in that third quarter with a bloody nose. As Kyra Welch has it on the left wing. Haug, Bagley on the left side. Bounce pass, trying to find Bagley on that left block. Stolen away by the Panthers, but throw it right to Haug. High off the glass, can't hit. Put back, no. Ball still loose, Emery Niddle grabs it for the Panthers. And those are the shots Vaylor has to make to get back in. They missed two layups there. And Parkway again has a chance to run away a little bit right now. Stober, Hughes, no. How the loose basketball and a race back the other way. In transition to Welch. Tries to slip past the defender. Fouled. And Kyra Welch shoots two. She does a really good job of getting her hips turned and, and just linked kind of around the person for two more free throws. Foul goes against Britton Bruns, her first. So Kyra Welch. 
hits the first, giving her seven points. Averages just shy of 12 tonight. The senior back at the free throw line, a 55% shooter from a charity strike. Missed that one. Hughes the rebound. Bruns brings it across the timeline, working against Welch. Stober on the right wing. Hands off to Niddle. Panthers, patient. Stober kicks out in that far corner, gets it right back. Open for three, hits the side of the backboard. Long outlet pass up ahead to Haug. Tightly guarded, ball's loose, stolen away by Parkway. Niddle ends up with a loose basketball. Beanders through the Van Wert D. It's right in front of her own bench. Fires to Hughes, but off her fingertips and out of bounds. And both teams are really sped up right now. They're, they're just out of sorts again. And this is the film they're going to use for tournament time. And there's a lot to learn from this. But uh, both teams need to clean, clean things up here the last six and a half minutes. Cougars trying to get it under double digits, trailing 40-29. Wise gets a screen, works left. Welch thought about the three on the wing. Wise will put up the triple try. No. And another rebound by Hughes. Great box out by Parker. They created a the wall there, and there's nobody from Van to get inside that. Stober. Right side. She'll hold. Now works to the left elbow before giving up to Miller. They're content to be patient here. They're going to create mismatches with switches. Trying to get it down low to Allison Hughes, stolen away. Now we get a timeout, give it to the Cougars. 5.48 to go. Parkway leads by 11 here on WOSN. Five forty-eight remaining, 40-29. Panthers with the lead, Cougars with the basketball. After the timeout called by Van Wert, still two timeouts left for Van Wert, four for Parkway. Back to the 1-2-2, two, two and Van Wert's got to tack it. Welch for three, got it. Once again, they got it back under 10. And who else besides Welch and Howell can score for Van Wert to give him a little lift? We, we saw glimpses here from Blythe. Niddle for three on the sling from Stover. She's the leading three-point shooter by percentage in the MAC at 35%. Her first basket gets the lead back out to 11. That was a huge shot there by Niddle, and she was open. She stepped into it and got it back up to 11. So back-to-back -back threes here to, after the timeout. Haug straight away can't drop it in. Another rebound for Allison Hughes, and that average isn't. Uh, Exaggerated. She has got every bit of that tonight and, and more. Niddle fires up a shot out of bounds off the Panthers. Allison Hughes averages 12 points and 12 rebounds. She's at 10 points. We're not keeping individual. I will guess she's probably at 15 she's rebounds. She's 15 rebounds. She's got to be. And, and she, I think she had eight offensive in the first half. So she's at least 15 and just controlled the glass tonight. Magley at the top of the key. Bounces back out to Wise for three. Got it. Second three for Sailor Wise. Gives her six. The rim was kind again down there. That's been a soft rim tonight. 43-35, the lead down to eight. And it appears it's, it's been six to eight points in almost the yeah. entire game, it feels like, Garrett. Panthers pass from Bruns to Niddle. Too long. And another turnover by Parkway. And I think this will probably be the line that Van Wert goes with to finish. I, I, I don't think that Schaufelberg is going to come back in with her, with her nose. Haug bounces back. Welch for three. No. Nichols grabbed the rebound, but she stepped on the end line. The Panthers will make a change. Williamson comes back in for Niddle, who hit the three. So just over four minutes to go. Eight-point lead for Parkway. Cougars trying to chisel away at it. Looking, looking into Wise. Hands right back off to Welch, just inside the three-point line. Another Manette. I'm not sure that was a design of the play, but it worked. A nice handoff here by Wise, and it's down to six. 12 points for Welch. 
I would expect uh, for Stober to get a touch this possession. Williamson back to the basket. Cuts to Stober. Lost it. Slap back into play by Nichols. And it goes to the Cougars. And Parkway has got a little out of sorts here. Wise has done a really good job of frustrating uh, Stober here in the fourth quarter. Timeout called by Dan Williamson, the Parkway head coach. We'll step aside as well. 3.39 to go. Cougars trailing by six, but chipping away on WOSN. Just over 3.30 to go in this fourth quarter, the non-conference matchup between Van Wert Parkway. And Garrett Seawright joined alongside Mark Bagley as the Cougars get it down low to Jordan Blythe, blocked from behind by Allison Hughes. And a loose basketball, jump ball, points towards Parkway. And that was a great set by Van Wert. They executed very well. Blythe got a good look, but again, Hughes' size, and she's just controlled the inside tonight and really dominated the paint area. It's the Panthers lead by six. Van Wert's chipped away. Was as high as 12 here in this fourth quarter. Neither team the bonus. There's five fouls on each, so we still got another foul to give for both teams. Britton Bruns on the right wing. Cross court pass to Stober. Top of the key. Works right. Gives to Hughes. Poked away. Stolen away by the Cougars. Two on two. Welch, coast to coast, drops it in. Kyra Welch has cut the lead to four with under three to go. And Parkway has gone back to turning the ball over here in the fourth quarter. That's really struggled for him. Ball's loose once more. Blythe scoops it up. And a foul committed by Allison Hughes. Her second. So the lead was as high as 12. Van Wert's kind of down to four. Yeah, they, they've been really scrappy defensively. Created turnovers and rebounded better. And Parkway's turned it over a little bit. And it's... It's coming down to the last 2 uh, 45 here. Howe bounces to Blythe in the near corner. Guarded by Hughes. Thrown off of her thigh, and it'll stay with the Cougars. And Blythe got the position, the ball in a position she's really not comfortable with. And, and Howe went right to her, and she said, that, hey, that's on me. Welch will inbound. Looking. Lobs into Blythe. The free throw line to Howe. Tries to get past the defender, double team. Bagley in the short corner, far side. Gives back off to Haug. Cougars reset. Welch at the free throw line. Back to Wise, thought about the three. Pumps, bounces. Bagley in the corner. Hands right back off to Wise for three. Got it! There's Sailor Wise has trimmed the lead to one with her third three. And she's had a great fourth quarter. Got they were back in the game and... <laughs> Wise nearly got the steal, called for the foul, her fourth. And both teams with the one on one, Garrett, to finish off this last 206. So the next foul, we're shooting free throws, but it's a. Both teams have played to their strengths throughout the night, and I guess that's why it's a, it's a one point game right now. Panthers inbound in the front court. Gabby Stober double team. They'll throw in the backcourt to Britton Bruns. Exactly two minutes go. Niddle, left wing, gives to Bruns. Stober gets it. Working right, baseline, off the glass. She's got 20. And that's what great players do. She went to her right hand and, and finished over a smaller wise, who has four fouls. Haug on the left side. Trailing by three, Wise. Bounces to Howe, tightly guarded by Bronze. It's a screen, works left, throws left to Welch. Tries to get past Stober, blocked, stays in bounds. That's a big play by the Panther defense. Tightly guarded by Welch. Double teamed, throws it over to Bruns. Niddle just inside the three-point line. No, Hughes the rebound, but she's called for the push-off before. And that's a big play right there. Niddle was open, but probably wasn't the shot the team wanted. And a great box out on the backside by Blythe and a chance to cut this back to one again for Van Wert. And a lot of strategy, a lot of timeouts the last minute five, Garrett. So Jordan Blythe will step to the free throw line. Cougars trail by five. She hit a free throw earlier. She's got three points today. The junior, one and one, missed everything. 
timeout called by Hannah Flippo, the Van Wert head coach. 1.05 to go in this fourth quarter. We'll step aside as well. Three-point game here on WOSN. Van Wert trails 45-42. Parkway will have the basketball with 65 seconds to go on the least famous recipe scoreboard. They don't want to foul Williamson here, and, and Stover is a good free throw shooter as well. She got a poke from behind. Foul committed by Welch, her fourth. So Gabby Stover, 65% free throw shooter at the line. A little offense, defense for Parkway. Adria Hughes comes in. Stober got it. And with, with this game got down to one point, Garrett, she made a driving layup, had a block shot, now she made a free throw. So great, that's what great players do. Stober hits them both, 22 for the senior. And now the lead is five with under five, under 50, nine seconds to go. Bamberg can't waste much time here. They gotta score quickly and, and go. Say the wise tightly guarded by Niddle. Bounces to Howe. Tries to get to the window. Does. Got too deep under. Miller the rebound. Poked out of bounds. But a foul committed by Sailor Wise, her fifth. So Sailor Wise will check out of the ball game. Nine points tonight for their senior. Hitting three threes. Got it down to one at one point. Debbie Jones will come back in. Junior wearing number two. 41.1, Adria Miller. Can't hit. Rebound grabbed by Maria Bagley. And Welch angles to the far sideline as the Cougars call a timeout. Trailing by five with 35 seconds to go. Gabby Stober with 22 points on tonight. 14 for Kyra Welch, 12 for Sophie Howe. We'll keep it here with 35 seconds to go. And a five point lead. What's the whiteboard draw up here for the Cougars during the timeout, Mark? Well, you don't need a three yet, but they have no timeouts left, so they can't stop the clock the rest of the game here. That, that's a huge advantage there with Parkway, having three timeouts uh, if they get in trouble. So. I think they're, they're going to probably draw up a three if it's good. If not, drive to the lane like the last play by Howe. Try to get a quick two to make it a one possession game. That's, the bottom line, you have to make it one possession. And so I think that's what Vanwell will try to do. Uh, a three or uh, you know, a quick two here. At this point, are you also going through who you want to foul for Parkway should you know they get the rebound or get the inbounds of who you're trying to force the basketball to? Yeah, that's where assistant coaches are really important because they should have all that information readily available to the head coach and say, hey, we're gonna let, we're gonna let you know, whatever, whoever that is, we're gonna get the ball and bounce and foul her immediately. Because it still is a one-on-one, -on -one. it's not the two shot, 10 fouls yet. Van Wert with eight fouls committed, Parkway seven. So the Cougars inbound. Right beside their bench, Debbie Jones will trigger it in. Looking for Welch, gets it there. Gets a screen. Jones on the right wing, straight away to Haub. Under 30 seconds, shot from Bagley off the front iron. Rebound comes out to Stober, stripped by Welch. She'll go straight to the window, fouled, and she'll shoot two. That's the last thing Parkway wanted to do because the clock is stopped. That's the way the clock is stopped. If she makes that, the clock's going to keep on running under 10 seconds, Garrett. So a uh, really good play there by Welch to get the steal on two free throws. Averages 12, has 14 tonight, 17.5 seconds to go. Got the first, nothing but net. There's one point for Welch. Williamson comes back in as Adrian Miller will take a seat. We're going to stop it as the Cougars' Kendra Deering comes in the game. 
for the first time. So Van Wert's going to be an all-out denial here. Parkway's got three timeouts left to set up what they want to set if they need to. Second free throw from Welsh, good as well. She's got 16. Less than 18 seconds remain. And a foul committed by Deering. It's Parkway shooting the front end of the one and one. Britton Bruns, a 5'5 freshman, toes the line. And that was a good foul, but not much time went off the clock. And so now uh, Parkway in a one possession game has to make free throws here to steal it. Bruns got it. Her that first, was, well, first point of the evening. That comes at a big time. That was money. Nothing but net. Great play there. Dan Williams from the Parkway head coach takes a timeout. We will as well. 15.6 to go. Panthers lead by four on WOSN. Out of the timeout, Parkway freshman Britton Bruns at the free throw line, hit the first to grow the lead to four. Looking to extend it to five. Can't hit, Allison Hughes, the offensive rebound. She's able to get rid of it. And now with less than 10 seconds, Stober fouled. And that's probably fitting, Garrett, because uh, she has controlled the inside, got the offensive rebound. That essentially seals the game because Van Wert cannot stop the clock. When the ball yeah. goes through, the clock will keep on running. Um, and so that, that, was, that was the seal right there. Stober's got another point, 23 for the six-foot senior guard. Had 26 in the loss, the first MAC loss of the season last week against Marion Local. Missed the second. Blythe throws up to Welch. She'll try to get past the defender. Can't hit, and that'll do it. Barkway led by as many as 12 in this fourth quarter. Van Wert storms back, gets it as low as one. But Barkway able to salt one away in the final moment of the game. They win 49-44. Panthers now 17-2, while Van Wert drops to 10-9. Final thoughts from tonight, Mark? Now, again, this game was a little bit uneven and choppy at times, but I think, you know, both teams can learn a lot from this game, heading to tournament here in a couple of weeks, and, a, and Parkway's had an outstanding season, and Van Wert kept on scrapping. They had some injuries tonight, some foul trouble, and, and they competed well. So look for both teams to, to learn from this and get better uh, for the league game this Thursday. It was a good night of basketball here at Rockford. So 49-44 the final score. Score again, Parkway now 17-2 on the season. While Van Wert drops to 10-9. 23 points for Gabrielle Stober for Parkway. Led in all scorers tonight. And then let tire, excuse me, joined in double figures by Allison Hughes for Parkway with 10 points. Sailor Wise had nine for Van Wert. Kyra Welch, 16. Sophie Haug with 12 in the loss. So that'll do it from here at Parkway High School for our fantastic WOSN crew, Hot Dog Jacob O'Neill and Marshall Jordan and Mark Bagley. I'm Garrett Seawright saying so long and we'll catch you next time here on WOSN.